Hey guys, welcome to another TARDIS building video. Uh, I know I haven't been bringing these up as quickly as I've been wanting to, but I did have something to share with you that I'm really excited to share. And it's really the only thing I've really been working on up to this point. Uh, I just had a lot of things going on in the last little while, more than I thought I would. But uh, when I first started working on this and getting it ready for building, one thing I really wanted to work on and perfect was the throttle. And as you're seeing here in some of the early renders, Getting this right was that was a big deal. I even 3D printed one, and it ended up being too big, and then I did another one, and then it was a matter of seeing how I wanted it. But I was lucky enough to find a vendor that could actually work in twofold, mainly finding Sen Cut Sen, which I've mentioned numerous times throughout the build, uh, to do things like bent parts, uh, and then of course using a CNC machinist to do the parts that I couldn't get bent. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look at the throttle. So here we are, as you can see, again, the console is a little bit of a mess right now just because still working on a few sections of this panel, but this is beautiful. So to highlight, I did get the base done and it is bolted down to the bottom. Now I had to get some new bolts to actually hold it in properly and that was CNC machine with threaded bolts in it along with uh, holes for everything, including some bolts which will go in here, which will act as the stoppers for this on either side. And then there will be little switches in here to activate the lights that go at the back, and of course, the rotor as well. So this is 3D printed, which will have to be finished as well. Through here you can see, and if, if you can't see really super clearly, I'll show it on the 3D model here as well. But these brackets were done with Sen Cut Send, as were these. Now I've had a couple of versions of these where I had to kind of change them because they were too far apart. And then the rest was CNC. So these were CNC'd, which ended up being tapped so I can screw those in. And the same with these all the way through. And it is just wonderful. <laughs> the fluidity of it is just so fun to play with at this point. And I think you got the right size. and it's just fantastic. Overall, I'm very happy with it. This is actually brass with this, unlike uh, this piece here, which I had to get plated because of costs, but these were actually pretty decent and it all just kind of screws together. Very simply made, less mechanical than it looks, uh, and it all just goes, yeah, these, these screws here actually hold these in. I have to get some black ones to replace that with, but they hold it, hold this to this, which keeps this still. And again, I'll have to put something on the inside to actually hold the switches for when this comes along. Currently, all that's in there is a wooden dowel, which I'm not sure you can see there. And it's just there for, for reference right now. These kind of a little bit of a slop right now because they don't quite bolt in, but it's just too fun. Walking through, hitting a few switches. It's just, it's just worth it. So there you go, a quick little update working on this throttle. It's, it's been really amazing to do that, to actually have this piece. It's such a, a central focus of this particular console that you know, I want to make sure I got it right. It feels right. It's got a good weight to it. I don't know if you could tell it while I was pulling it over that it just, it really feels good. So if you guys have any comments or questions about it, let me know. Uh, yes, the 3D files for it will be uh, released when I eventually get everything put up on Etsy. All the 3D files for everything I've made will be there and I can't wait to share them with you. Uh, if you have any questions about metal, getting it done, it's really exciting. But yeah, if you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, ask me down below. Thank you for sticking with me for this really short video, and I hope that I'll have more in the coming weeks when I get to start working on some more stuff. The temperature has finally started to turn again here in Vancouver, so I'll be able to get out and paint and, and do all that fun stuff. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for sticking with me, for watching. Thank you so much for keeping up with the TARDIS build, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.